Okay, folks. Hey, it's David with the UFO Dave page on Facebook. Back at the lake, going back to the cave. I was here yesterday and I wasn't able to get into it. But today, my sole purpose in being here is to put the small camera on a pole into the mouth of the cave and see what's inside. Water level's probably even higher today. It looks like it is anyway. I'm gonna head straight across the lake and around the corner to the cave. I also brought my laser. Laser, I'm gonna shoot the laser inside. If there's anything inside, maybe scare it out. Another beautiful day. I'm the only one here. There's a boat down there. Nobody around, huh? Interesting. Eaten by the monster. Man, you can see the scars on the side of that mountain. Going all the way up. And the giant splits in the rock and going all the way up. You can see the same thing we see on a smaller scale. Geez, I can't hold this up. There you go. Scratches in that. Giant ones. Big ones. Anyhow, preserving the battery. It's calm today. No wind. Should be a good, good paddle. Fingers crossed we'll find something. Okay, I'm heading across the lake here. Got my face right to the camera, which is why I'm talking low, but just wanted to show this to you. Another one. Way up on the side of this mountain. Big triangle. Big gouge going up the side of this mountain. That's like four feet tall. Look how far away it is. Must be huge. Going all the way up the side of this mountain. You can see. There's a pathway. Anyway, heading to the cave. Beautiful day. As I'm floating along here, see another one. Big triangle up on the side. And big gouge out of the side of that rock. You can see that A shape, V shape, whatever you want, on the sides of that. gouge taken out of there. I've shown this little cave before. Now that it's, uh, I'm gonna hit some rocks here. Oh, now that it's, uh, the water level's higher, this is inaccessible as a cave. It's just got water coming up to it, but it doesn't go very far back. Then you can check out the cracked rock here. Partiers have arrived. It's a beautiful day. But anyway, you can see its path that takes up the side. From here. Up this. Anywho, my camera died again. I uh, don't know what's going on, but uh, there it is. And you can see all the scratch marks in the rock above it there, and there's some little rocks over here as well. Onward. And right above it, big old triangular gouge out of the rock. through down here and here right through the rock I took that whole chunk out like, let me get a okay I've thrown a new battery in here you can see all these jagged marks I'm right up against the rock here and you can see points points scratches and then this right here 
you can see the claws where they came through. I mean, really, I ah, lost my paddle. Um, really, they came from up here and all the way down, but you can see where the claws went right in and continued through the rock, pulling out a chunk of rock. And then this red, again, this is just a little sort of hollowed out, semicircular, all the jagged marks along here. This is, I can't imagine how this could have been made by a creature because it's not, it doesn't seem like it's big enough to, uh, to have something sit on it, but maybe just climb up from there onto the rock because there's so many chunks of rock taken out and this whole white section was gouged out. Got the party central going on here. I thought it was going to be nice and calm. <laughs> Jinxed myself. But you can see all of the, the marks along the rock where something is taking chunks out all the way going up. And then the, the A-frame triangular type of marks and whatnot. Anyhow, getting sidetracked on my way to the cave again. The water level's higher, so it just changes every time I come back. Yesterday when I was here, it was about a foot lower, so we might be able to get some real good stuff in the cave today. Good footage, maybe even some samples. It's a beautiful day, glassy water. And the partiers, I think, have vacated. Nice. Onward. You just see this rock, that, or this piece of rock that's been displaced off of the rest of it that's attached to the mountain. That is a triangular boulder, and the shape behind it is that A shape, B shape, whatever. That's a massive boulder. And it's been ravaged along the sides as well. Something cut that out of the mountain side. Didn't just fall in that shape. I've shown you the shapes. They're triangular. And you can see this is obviously a, a nesting area flattened down. Something just comes right up and sits up there. It's smoothed down. Look how smooth it is. When the water level is right, it comes out of the water and just goes up and down, up and down, smoothing it down. And all the damage on the rock, the rock face, chunks of rock taken out. All along here, you can see. Smoothed down. Nice little ramp, all this redness around here. And there's a little divot just up in there. It's a perfect little nest. It's been hollowed out. Right into the water. That's why it's so smooth. Look at that. You can see the path it's taken. And red. What is this red? All along. All along here. And look, there's a giant triangle right there. And another big piece of rock taken out. Chunks. I'm almost thinking that something was here and was eradicated or uh, exterminated or an attempt to exterminate it was made or them, whatever. And I don't think it worked because there's some stuff that looks like it's super old. The rock has been weathered down, so you can barely see the claw marks in it, but others are fresh, like freshly broken off rock. You can hear the seaplane that I narrowly avoided getting hit by. Well, not really. They waited for me to cross before they took off the last time. I was over there all the way across. 
across the lake. over there too. We'll go over there sometime soon, but for now I'm getting right into this into this cave. Look at that. Look at the destruction on that rock. That is not natural. If you get a geologist to say that that is natural, they're not worth the paper their degree was written on. Again, we'll hollow it out, smoothed out, a little triangle right there. It's a little tiny one. You, can, you just saw ones on the side of the mountain that looked exactly like that. Look, a nice little hollowed out spot with direct access from the water. Slip up here. Look, it's created a little hollow so that there's water in there. Oh, look right there. Three claws, you think? Three, four? Anyhow, and then fresh marks all the way along the underside of the rocks. Freshly exposed rock. And this red, red, red. So it's all kind of moist. Yeah? I don't know what it is, but Anyway, that whole area has been smoothed down. I've shown it before on my way to the cave. And, you know, eagles everywhere. I just went past a barely alive fish that I think they're practicing hunting, but they're not get, they're not very good at it yet. Anyway, onward. Here we are, you can see, look at the triangles, double triangles there. Where is that? Holy smokes, the sun's shining, I can barely see. Anyway, triangles everywhere. Triangular gouges out of the rock. Like there's a couple right there. Big gouges, and you can see where the claws go in at the top of them. And then this nice little oasis up here. I've shown this before. Look at nice little oasis with scratch marks all along the rocks. We're just coming around the corner here and there's going to be the cave. I figured I'd let it run. This is my last battery. Since I exhausted them yesterday, I couldn't recharge them. Look, you can see. They go A, V, whatever you want to say. Something's taken that out. There's fresh, fresh rock exposed. And this is the pathway straight up the side. This is like such a steep grade and then at the top of this look at that it's a big claw mark a bigger one than the one down here taking out that whole chunk of rock anyway i'm gonna come around the bend in a sec here and the cave is just around the corner Almost at the cave, not yet, but look, you can see this hollow here. It's sort of a semicircular hollow. It's been scratched out. Look at all the scratches. This is not natural. All of these scratches and little triangular V-shaped. Look at the red, look at the red. It's just like, I mean, it's blood red, but it's, it must be some sort of Claw marks. They're all red, man. I can't believe that. Anyway, like it's hollowed out. Something hollowed that out, scratched it out, made its little nest right there. Look at all this rock all along here. Just been clawed at and scratched at. All these claw marks here. Rock doesn't fall out like that. Look at that big slice right through the rock. Big slice. Here we come around the corner. Get my paddle out of the 
the way. We'll see first views of the cave again. Any changes? So I'm going to assemble that and see what happens. See what I can make happen. All right, I'll get back to you in a sec. Okay, well, I gave it a go with the uh, small camera, so we'll see how it turned out. But uh, I was thinking it's... Uh, focusing on the wrong thing here. Anyway. I'm gonna head on around the corner and see what I can find. Still have decent battery. Off we go. You can only see this from a distance, but this is a giant curved slice through the rocks. <laughs> 